Okay, you know it's bad when I have to make a video about it. Like, you've really reached a new level. Well, I wouldn't say a new level. I've known people that have worse experience than me. Heck, this one person I watched a video had a way more worse experience than me. So, maybe my thing is not that bad, but it's still something I need to talk about so that it doesn't happen again. So that I can finally rest in peace. So that I don't get annoyed by this person again, no matter how many times I've told them not to call me. So today we're going to talk about a little bit of stalker stories. I have a few, but I wouldn't really call them stalkers. I mean, it depends on your definition of stalkers. One could say that they annoy you, which is my definition. The others, which is kind of, I think most populations are saying, is that people that literally try to find you. So. I guess my definition is kind of different since no one has actually tried to find me yet. Heck, no one even knows where I live. They only know I live in Canada. People thought I lived in Alberta for some reason, like, um, okay. So, yeah, we're gonna get into some stalker stories. I saved the best for last. I mean, it's the best because it's happened most recently. But yeah, we're gonna get into some stalker stories. So let's get on to one of them. So this one guy was in our group. Um, I wouldn't say I was friends with him. Then again, I don't say I'm friends with people online. Like, if I know you in real life, yeah, we're friends. If I know you online, pass. I'm not friends with you. I would say we're acquaintances, but I'm not clingy to you. Just because I never met you off screen. So, yeah. Anyways, this person literally just joins every game. Um, he's actually the person I actually, the first person I ever have to block in my life. I blocked him on Fortnite, Insta, and YouTube. You know it's bad when this guy when this happens. Mind you that it's a guy too, and I'm straight. So yeah. So anyways, he was kind of a bit clingy. He was constantly trying to get it into my life. He would bring up stuff that I mentioned, like I didn't care about mentioning. He would bring up stuff. And I'm like, wow, you really remember that? Or sometimes when I upload a vlog or even a past video, he would mention it. Like, oh, you have a zoo there? Oh, I want to see the zoo. I want to see the zoo. Oh, I want to go there. That's like the impression of him. <laughs> I'm bad impressions. But yeah, that's basically his story. I kind of blocked him because he, he got annoying. Um, it's not that he kept on mentioning stuff, but like, he, he just really got annoying too. Like, how are you going to be clingy and annoying at the same time? Like, you know those two don't mix. I never even knew that, that some could have both personalities. Some could be clingy and annoying. But anyways, I blocked him. He got annoying. He was more of like a problem to me. So I just blocked him. You know, just get just to get people on my way. Just to, you know, th just so I have some sanity left. Okay, here's the second story. So... Basically, back in February, when I, when I was actually active on my Discord server, I'm still kind of active, but I feel like the hype just went down completely. I mean, there are still some active users on that server, but I feel like mostly people just stopped going on to it. Anyways, like back in February, this one kid joined my server, and he immediately simped over one of my mods because she had a girl profile picture. Of an anime girl. Like, bro, you really think that's what she really looks like? You really think that she's a girl? It could be a guy. It could be anyone. Bro, people with profile pictures might just use it from someone else. Like, you never know who's actually behind that screen. It could be anyone. I've seen those videos before. I've seen people that lure people before. That's why I don't fall for those profile pictures. But, anyways, this guy starts sipping for her. And I'm just watching this all go down, like it was in the chat room, but then it went private. Like, it went from him saying publicly, to him actually just DMing her, directly. So, anyways, a few minutes go by, and then she sends me screenshots of what the kid was saying to her. And I could not stop laughing. Like, I know it might be serious, but at the same time, like, what's the worst he can do? And me and her actually began laughing because she was actually, she wasn't even that scared. And at worst she was annoyed, but she was just trolling the kid around. So anyways, uh, the kid keeps asking, 
yo, show me your face, show me your face, please show me your face. And she's like, no, please stop, I don't want to show you my face. But she finally gives in. But instead of showing a picture of her face, she sends pictures which I'm not sure I'm allowed to show. Anyways, to best describe it, she shows pictures of an anime girl, pictures of two old men, and a picture of Pokimane. So, yeah. Eventually, she blocks him. She's like, eh, I have my fun. Block. And then she tells him, like, oh, did you not block him? A few days go by. Not a few days. A few months go by. House party. I get back on house party. A few people I used to play with are on house party. So I was like, eh, I want to try this new feature out on Fortnite. I want to see, like, what this feature is all about. So anyways, yeah, we go on house party and stuff. And then this kid, the same kid, tries calling me constantly. It was okay that one time when I was in a group, and that one time we were actually playing Fortnite, but then I got, kinda got annoyed with, him, with talking to him, so I ended up just ignoring his uh, house party calls, but he kept calling me constantly. Like, sometimes I would go online on house party to see like what are people doing, to see like, to send messages, and this kid keeps calling me like, bro, stop calling me, stop it, stop it. So he keeps calling me. I end up blocking him. I did. I didn't block him on YouTube. So yeah, and I didn't block him on Discord. But I did block him on House Party, and I'm pretty sure I did not unblock him. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. But we'll see. I'll check this after the video. But if I if he's still blocked, he's still blocked. If he's unblocked, I'll keep on blocked. Like I'm not gonna block him again, unless he does something harsh or rash. Then I'm gonna block him again. Okay, no joke. This literally happened to me the day of recording. Like this is what made me want to record this video. This part made me want to record this video. I'm not even lying. So anyways, I'm in school and this kid keeps calling me constantly. Like bro, stop calling me on Insta. Can we just text? That's, I even asked him if I can text him or not, and he's like, no, I want the call, I want the call, I want the call. That, I'm trying to do his best impression. Uh, like I said before, I'm bad at impressions. But anyway, he's like, I want to call you, please, please. You, you always call, you always answer everyone else, but not me. And I'm just sitting here like, you do know I never call anyone, right? You do know you're the only one that calls me on Insta? Like, I even tell him that, like, bro, I have never called anyone on Insta, and... Nobody's ever called me. You're the only one that's been spamming calls. Like, I don't even know why I actually have to make this video or even say this part, but like, I feel like it's common sense. But for the people out there that either lack common sense or don't have friends, which I'm kind of sad for, if you don't have friends, like, I'm kind of sad for you. But here's a lesson that you may need to learn if someone doesn't answer your call, what makes you think they are going to answer like the next minute or even the next second? This guy didn't even let like a second go by. The moment the first missed call happened, he spammed it again. Like, what do you think he's gonna do? You do okay, first of all, my phone's always on silent. So if I miss one call, I'm probably gonna miss all your calls within the next five minutes, unless I'm on my phone going through YouTube. Secondly, why spam? Like, you could have at least waited 5 minutes, or heck, you could have at least waited a whole hour. But no, you didn't even let 30 seconds go by, and then you send me another call. That's what got me frustrated, that's what got me annoyed. Like, this guy kept spamming, the moment I get on my phone, he starts spamming, spamming, spamming. Some days, I don't even like to record. I mean, record, I don't like to answer calls. So, I just say, yo, stop spamming me. Can we just talk? Can we just text? And he's like, you never answer my calls! Like, please, please, answer my calls! You always answer everyone else's calls. And like I said before, I have never, ever got called by anyone else but him on Insta. And I don't answer calls unless it's in a group chat or it's urgent. Like, there's only like a few instances where I would actually answer a call, like maybe we're playing a game and we need to talk to you, we need communication, or maybe it's a last minute test and I need some help. 
but this guy doesn't even tell me why he wants to call. I'm pretty sure he wants to see my face, or he wants to see what my face naturally looks like. At the same time, I'm like, this is my face. Like, I, I can't alter it. Like, the worst thing I can, the only thing I can alter is probably my hair. So, like, what, what you see now, that's me. Well, not my personality, but what you see now in my face, that's me in my normal state. Well, my home state. And if I was going outside, I would probably change my hairstyle. So, anyways, I never actually told him I'm going to block him. But if he calls me again, spams it, whatever, I'm probably going to go with the block threat. Like, I don't like blocking people. Don't get me wrong. I kind of regret blocking people sometimes. Well, I say sometimes. Some people, some people don't even deserve to, like, for me to give them another chance. I just like block, you know, screw it. You you put this on yourself, I'm blocking you. But some people don't deserve it. Like some people may be going through a mood. That's why I, I unblock him. But for these three people, like, bro, you really, you're honestly losing respect from me. I used to be like, okay with you. And now we're like, it's come to the point where like, I would just ignore you constantly. Like I wouldn't care about you anymore. And do you really want that? Do you really want someone that's chill as me? Someone who's actually active in this community? Someone who actually replies to people? Who helps them when they're in their needs? Do you want me to ignore you? So like, for those three people, you know who you are. You know what you did. Like, just stop, just stop annoying me. Stop spamming me with messages. Stop spamming me with calls. I, I will personally get back to you when I have the time. If you just text me, I can get back to you. But if you can constantly ask for my address, ask for my life, get deeper into my life, try to, you know, call me, call me, just keep on calling me, spamming it every second. You're not going anywhere. In fact, you're getting farther from me. You're not even getting closer. So like, those are my stories. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you're new, please subscribe. If you are subscribed, Make sure to post notification bell because I don't have a schedule. Anyways, peace out.